Welcome to episode four of the Kickstart 2020 series. So today, ladies, this is one for you and glute training. So a lot of you will go into next year wanting to improve the shape and size of your glutes, hashtag booty goals, and you will probably start to scroll through Instagram and see a lot of fitness influencers uh, with their bodyweight workouts and resistance band workouts and God forbid, treadmill and Stairmaster workouts. Don't get me started. And you'll probably start to copy some of these exercises, but I want you to understand that the glutes, like all muscle groups, require progressive overload over time and need to be challenged with real weight, not just a resistance band and body weight. You spend your entire day walking around, climbing upstairs, they are perfectly capable of dealing with body weight. If you want to make real change, you need to load them up, okay? Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with using resistance bands for warm-ups and finishes, that's absolutely fine, but to call it your entire workout is gonna massively limit your progress and your results. What you need to do is start including lifts such as the barbell hip thrust, now that has to be in your training program. If it is missing, you are missing a huge trick. It is by far the best glute building exercise due to its incredibly high glute maximus activation. And it is a very easy lift to progressively overload. You can put a lot of weight on the bar and still get good range of motion with full engagement. So that is one that should be in there. Your sumo deadlifts are very, very important as well. Um, any weighted abduction, so that is when we sort of step out to the side, so you can use the abductor machine, uh, even a cable version of this is fine. And there's nothing wrong with including um, some form of glute kick. So cable, single leg leg press if you want. Even the one where you push down on the assisted pull-up machine, it's not completely wrong. In fact, you can get a good load through it, just make sure you stand far enough forward so you're pushing through the glutes and not just the quad. So there are some of the lifts that you can be using. There's, there's lots more, but that's just a general foundation. And the, the where a lot of people go wrong is they don't challenge the glutes enough. So, you know, you see girls hip thrusting, um, and men, let's not be sexist, with like a 10 kilo dumbbell. It's just, it's just not, it's an insignificant amount of load considering how strong the glutes are. Get 40 kilos on a bar, start getting it moving, six to 10 reps, good range of motion, good contraction at the top and progress through. Um, you will be surprised how quickly you can start moving in and around 100 kilos and way beyond. I've got plenty of clients that can go way beyond 100 kilos. You know, that's the kind of challenge your glutes can take. So with your eight kilos or your 10 kilo dumbbell, you're just not gonna be challenging it enough, okay? So that's a rough outline of glute training. Uh, there's a lot more science we could throw at it, but we wanna keep this relatively brief, but please don't fall into the trap of these very gimmicky banded workouts and please don't ever let me catch you do kicks on the Stairmaster. It just, no. So take home guys, challenge the glutes, use the right type of lifts, and if you need any help with it, please drop me a message. I'll happily show you technique videos, or if you catch me in the gym, I'll happily talk you through technique as well. Have a good uh, evening guys, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.